Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday, 22nd of September 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signals, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, as always, let's have a look at what happened in the Asian session. Euro Japanese uh, markets were certainly out of order uh, overnight, certainly not on board. Uh, the uh, Shanghai up 0.5%, Hang Seng 0.3%. Nothing substantial, really, given the fact that uh, the futures are already pointing higher. So no real build upon that rally. Let's just bring up the actual uh, Nikkei in Shanghai. Let's just have a look exactly where it stands. Okay, Shanghai still weak uh, ever since holding that uh, double top or holding resistance in this uh, 430 region. You have a few unfilled gaps below as well. So no real um, move. The Nikkei, um, we had the uh, thrust higher on the Nikkei, uh, but certainly hasn't sustained itself given the fact that the uh, USDJPY now is back at the uh, 100 handle. Currently out of hours futures is around 10776, um, 10776, sorry, 16776, yep, 16776, so more or less in this region. You do have gap fill resistance here, so keep an eye on that, but no real um, overt bullish uh, reaction you have the 200 ma as well at the 10860 so you are looking for risk aversion or risk off from my perspective with the unfilled gap below as well given the fact that usd jpy back at 100 no additional qe either nothing really to cheer over that's all i can say okay so no overt bullish action that will actually uh, force the european markets higher okay in terms of economic data let's just have a look here this morning we had uh, french consumer confidence stronger than expected rbnz overnight certainly dovish rba uh, speech from low certainly dovish okay given the fact that the fed is not raising rates they need, they now need to start moving otherwise their currency will start to appreciate and uh, they'll start to import uh, the uh, deflation uh, European Economic Bulletin, 9 o'clock, nothing of any real major importance. We've got UK CBI data, Chicago Fed, jobless claims will be important. Health Price Index, we've got Mr. Draghi speaking at 2 o'clock. Okay, we've got a few uh, BOE members, uh, Cunliffe and Mr. Carney at 2.30, and Mr. Carney then speaking later on. Uh, existing home sales will be important and EU consumer confidence as well. Mr. Carney speaking at 6 p.m., so that's interesting. Okay, so that certainly remains the uh, status uh, uh, quo. We have had a um, an article on Reuters, German economic growth will slow uh, in second half. German economy will lose steam in the second half of 26 a week of foreign demand causes industrial output to slow. Uh, the finance minister on Thursday, another signal that Europe's biggest economy is set for a slowdown. Now, we've had the... Um, Euro certainly spike up to 10, uh, 1.1 to 40 now, so certainly spiking higher, and therefore is hurting the uh, export side of the equation. So, so again, uh, some bearish price action there. German DAX, looking at the daily chart, you've certainly closed the gap. Gap has been closed at uh, 10,578, 10,576, and you are now looking at resistance on the German DAX. Looking at the 60 minute chart, again, you're slammed into that 200 MA into gap fill resistance, looking for weakness. 10 minute chart of the German DAX, you've got multiple unfilled gaps below. So you've got an unfilled gap at 10.430 and then an unfilled gap at uh, 10.390. And again, this gap has been triggered by the um, the, the uh, FOMC delaying and the BOJ misfiring. So uh, given the fact that the FOMC is delaying, okay, even though we have had three dissenters, uh, the euro obviously has broken past the 1.12 level. So technically it should indicate risk aversion and therefore you should be looking for weakness in the uh, in European equities. That's my interpretation and understanding thus far. Although oil prices have moved higher and it is helping to helping risk to a large extent, okay, in terms of the uh, uh, price of oil. So keep an eye on that. And FTSE obviously is being bid on the back of that as well. French CAC, okay, let's look at the French CAC now. Daily chart, obviously, consumer confidence data is stronger than expected, but still it's lagging. We've had the German DAX close its gap and the French CAC failing to do so. That's not exactly a good sign, okay? So again, look for weakness here as well 60 minute chart on the french cac really in no man's land you've gone past 575 percent which is impressive okay uh, in terms of resistance now you obviously have resistance here on the 4470 zone currently around the 4460 zone so again looking for weakness here uh, also given the fact that the german dax is into gap fill resistance that in and of itself is signify a weakness okay so watch out for weakness below 
Uh, in terms of the uh, the German DAX here, let's just have a look. You got unfill gap at 4390, 4410. So looking for weakness below. Okay. So again, vulnerable to a potential uh, uh, move lower. FTSE itself uh, retesting that double top. Uh, the uh, 688 zone certainly is holding thus far. 60 minute chart as well showing you if you do, or do go past 680 then you have 6890 of resistance and then 6900 etc okay daily chart let's bring up the daily chart the FTSE uh, daily chart you are coming into diagonal trend line resistance and you have that fib 75 percent resistance as well so two zones of resistance uh, on the uh, on the actual FTSE 100 so looking for weakness there overall okay right European stocks now, Euro stocks 50. Let's just quickly go back to Euro stocks 50. So you're slammed into that 200 MA. You do have an unfilled gap above that 3050. Very unlikely to be hit given the fact that the Euro obviously appreciating. And the daily chart of the Euro stocks certainly pushed higher. Okay. Still the uh, support zone below is certainly coming into play. Okay coming into play 10 minute chart of the euro stocks two unfilled gaps below so certainly remains vulnerable to a potential move or a, or a, or a sell off lower so again uh, be, be uh, certainly uh, open minded and look for a potential move low on the back of a stronger euro okay so it's a stronger euro that really is causing the carnage at the moment so bear that in mind okay now I think that's a wrap in terms of uh, copper quickly bring up copper itself copper certainly is being helped by this weaker dollar uh, even though gro global growth is certainly slowing down, the OECD as well, cut growth forecasts as well. So it certainly seems to be more of a dollar-related move as opposed to a growth-related move. Oil prices as well bouncing high on the back of this potential oil output deal. Uh, although uh, the Iraqis have said that they're going to continue to maintain their oil production. So again, it's going to be interesting whether or not the Saudis and the Iranians are on uh, on the same page. So the market is certainly short-squeezing as well, helped by the weaker dollar as well on the price of oil. But... European stocks bear that in mind, folks. A weaker dollar generally means higher, stronger yen, a stronger, uh, stronger yen, and uh, to a large extent, it means stronger CHF and stronger euro as well. So, again, it, you need to bear that in mind, okay? Just bear that in mind. It's not exactly um, always bullish, it's given, especially given the fact that each uh, country has its own central bank policy. So, if the, if the dollar is weakening, the euro will start to strengthen, and that, uh, as we can see, euro USD above 1.1240. It certainly is indicating risk aversion for EU equities compared to the rest. So, again, look for further weakness there. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye.